everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a Dollar Tree haul. I'm very excited. Um, I bought some stuff for some happy mail that I'm going to be sending out. So that always makes me really happy. I Today is Tuesday and in YouTube world it's actually Tuesday. In real world it's actually Tuesday. And so I'm going to edit this and get this posted. But today was the last day of my hashtag 400 giveaway. And so right before I started doing this I did the comment picker website thingy. And so I'm going to insert that right here. Hi guys. I'm here for my giveaway drawing. If you look here at the time, I am a few minutes late. It is 11.25. I said by 11 a.m., sorry. Right here, I have the URL for my giveaway video. Filter comments, hashtag 400. So scroll down. All right, here we go. Let's see who wins. Vivian Soto, whoop whoop. So I will have you comment and email me and yeah, that way we can talk about what your prize is because I didn't have anything really planned for this one. So yeah, email me. My uh, email address is amberstodolist at gmail.com. It's also listed in the description box. And now let me go ahead and get on with the haul. Okay. So thank you, Vivian. You are my winner. So please leave a comment down below. Send me an email. My email address is down in the description box. It's Amber's to do list at gmail.com. And let's connect so that I can get you a prize. I don't have a prize picked out right now. So we will talk about maybe what some of your wish list items are and see if I have any of those on hand or if I know that any of my stores have them. And we'll try to maybe get you something like that. So congratulations. Thank you, everybody who did my 400 subscriber giveaway. As of today, right before I started filming, I'm at 465 subscribers, which is so exciting. Thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. And once I get to 500, I'll do another giveaway. So we are so close. And so we'll, we're very, very close to another one. Now for this haul, I have Dollar Tree items. I also went to Michael's, Five Below, and Target. And if I have time, I'll show all that stuff at the end. They're all very small like little teeny um, hauls because I didn't buy much in any of those stores, but I bought a little bit at each of those stores. So if you saw my thumbnail, you saw that I picked up yet another one of these bags. I always forget to take them with me. And to be honest, they were all holding a bunch of my birthday party stuff for my daughter's birthday party. And so, yeah, I bought another one. And this one says, be happy always, which I love. And in here, I have this. I got this one because I'm putting together a gift ba or basket for my best friend. It's kind of football theme. I've seen these be used for crafts, which are always gorgeous, but this one is particularly to give to my best friend. It says family friends and has the picture of the football, which I love, and it's sparkly. So that's going to go in her gift basket that I'm putting together. I found one of my wish list items, and I had given up hope. I did not think I was going to find these, but I finally found the mint trays. I decided I wanted them. I seen them once in store. And then I came home and I said, you know what? I have a use for those. I decided I wanted them and then I couldn't find this color. Then I couldn't find any. So I thought that it was gone. I wasn't going to get them. So I picked up three of these to use in my office area. Last one. So excited for those. Like I walked in, I'm thinking that the school supply section is going to start getting cleaned out. And then that was there. In the craft section, you're going to notice I'm going to have more and more craft stuff because I'm doing a birthday party, Harry Potter. I'm going to start those crafts. Today is the 31st. 31st. Yeah, there's 31 days in August. Um, 31st of August. Tomorrow's September 1st. My son's birthday party is September 18th. I have 18 days to do a lot of crafting. And they're not all going to necessarily come out in time because they're going to take more editing. But I am going to record and post all of my DIYs. But I did get this one for a Harry Potter craft that I plan to do. Same with these. Honey Dukes is the name of the candy store, which sometimes I have a hard time remembering, but Honey Dukes. And these are going to be the candy bags for his candy bar. Speaking of candy bars, I recorded. I'm going to vlog Lorelai's birthday party. We had that over the weekend. It was amazing. Um, I just need to edit it because I did record it. I got two ones of these balloons so that I can do them for Braxton because he's turning 11 these I have seen I believe bargain mama is the one that always talks about how good these are 
And I've had the Stacy's pita chips and hummus, but I've never had the cinnamon sugar ones. So I picked these up for a little snack because Bargain Mama, and I'll link her down below in the description box, always talks about how good they are. So I wanted to give them a shot. So I picked those up for a snack. I picked these up for my best friend. I'll probably put them in her gift basket since I'm putting together a gift basket, but we were talking about Pop Rocks the other day during the birthday party actually. And we were talking about these Oreo cookies and she was like, what? And so I wanted to get her some to try because I came across them again in the store. And so those are for her to give a try. And these I was so excited about. One, look at this scrunchie, it is so beautiful. It's got like a blue cheetah print design on it. I typically don't buy the ones with these, but I don't know, this one just called to me. And so I wanted to have it. It's just a scrunchie. This one is the um, Sincerely Jewels by Scrunchie. I thought this was absolutely just beautiful. So I picked it up. And then right there with it was this set of hooks, or not hooks, but barrettes. And so here's the back of them. The top one is like a bobby pin. And then both of these just are like, you know, the clips, clips, not hooks. Sometimes my words are hard. And so I got each of those. I think that they are absolutely beautiful. Like, I just couldn't. So I, 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 they came home with me. I grabbed some scented wipes in the coconut scent. I was going to say pineapple. This is most definitely a coconut. Sometimes I just really wanted the wipes. I want to put them in my car and have them. So anytime I need to wipe my hands, they're there. And then, oh, oh it's the tag. I'm like, what is that? I thought I had something cool in there. It's the tag for this bag. I found this and I was so excited so these are like the the holiday type prints of the Cricut paper or the vinyl paper so I got the buffalo plaid and the red and the white so excited to have these for Christmas I didn't know if I was going to find them or not with how long it took me just to find the regular vinyl but I did and I have them so excited for that <clears throat> I picked up three of these vases these are for a Harry Potter craft I'm making a Quidditch scene and I got the um, badminton, badminton rackets. I'm going to cut the strings out, spray paint it gold. But I needed something for the base of those. And I there was a hap, like badminton rackets in the store that I found these at. So I stuck them in there and it seems like it'll be a good base. I'll probably need to put some glue so that it gets stuck to the bottom and maybe some like rocks or filler, something heavy in the bottom. But I got three of these. I do plan to spray paint them gold, but I got three yellow ones just so that they were consistent. And then that way if it holds the color. It holds it consistently. I'll set those there. I don't want them to fall and rattle. I found these. These were new to me. I have since um, I picked these up yesterday and I've been watching videos. I'm behind in all my videos. I saw Crafty Girl haul these. I saw Jenny Moen show them in her store. And so now I see that these are definitely going around. So what it's listed at is a 12 inch chunky slat. And so that's literally what it is. It's just a slat. And I don't know if a dollar is a good deal because I don't typically go to like the hardware store and buy wood. But I saw Crafty Girl on the video I just watched of hers do a craft with the Halloween houses. And she painted it black, painted this black, and she used this to be the base of it. And I plan to use one of those Halloween houses to be like Hogwarts, like a silhouette of Hogwarts for the birthday party I'm doing. And so I thought that that was perfect. And so I grabbed two. One, my first reason was to show you guys because it's new to me. But two, I was like, yeah, I could definitely do some crafting. Three, then I saw Crafty Girl do that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. I'll also link her down below. I think we all know of Crafty Girl. She is amazing. She is like the godmother of like YouTube hauls. So I grabbed this. <laughs> it's a box of sour boogers. And I just, for some reason, the Harry Potter candy theme, this calls out to me to be it. I think it's the gross jelly beans that always make me think of that. So these are booger flowers and snotter melon, green, sour green boogie and slime apple. Gross. But it just called out to me and this was literally the only box that I found at my store. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for more. So it says tangy gummy boogies that look and feel real. Yum, let me eat one of those. But I think the kids will love it. So I picked those up for his party. And then I have some happy mail that I'm sending out for somebody and she has two kiddos. And I just wanted to include something for her kiddos. And I want a reason to buy these books because I think that they're so cute. And I don't have littles anymore that are in this reading level. So I picked them up to toss in her Happy Mail. And so this is the Dentist Visit Noah Big. The Little Book of Monsters Sally Big. And My Doctor Visit Emma Big. And I just thought that they were too cute. I'm going to toss them in her Happy Mail. They're just board books. Here, let me put that down so I can open up one. 
and they got a decent amount of words and she's a teacher and so I assume that she probably reads books with her kiddos and I just thought this was too cute and I just don't have anyone long, young enough for those. And then I picked up these also to stick in her Happy Meal because like I said she has two kiddos and she can figure out what set is best for who and so this one is the ABC Animals. This one is the Colors Under the Sea. And then we got one, two, three birds in a tree. And these were really fun because they open in different kind of levels. So that one opens, but then this one stays there. And then this one opens and that stays there. Oh, I just thought this was so cute. So, and it counts up to five, six. And so I got that for Happy Mail to stick for her kiddos because like I said, they just made me happy and I wanted to stick them in somebody's, somewhere, I wanted to give them to somebody. So I will. I picked up another snack. This was kind of for yesterday. I didn't know if I was going to have time to eat or not. So I grabbed this trail mix. It says it's energy blend with honey roasted peanuts, sesame sticks, almonds, walnuts, and pecans. But I never ended up opening it. So I'll just have it on hand. It looks really good. Sounds really good. I found another one of my really big wish list items that I was struggling finding. I just found two of them so far, but they are the book boxes. So this one says that it is potions and poisons. This one says spells on the side. And I want these again for the Harry Potter party because I'm going to do the, I can't say the word right, ampo, am, am, apothecary, apothecary, um, with the potions and my little jars that I showed from Target that I'm going to put there with it. And so like I said, these are just boxes. They come in three different sizes. So this one had two of the sizes. It was this one and the one smaller. This was literally the only one of these ones there. And that was all that was in the store. And this one has a little ding in it right here, but I could fix that or work with it. I mean, it's an old book, right? Because they're all really old books. And so I wanna do that for that. I still hope to find the other two, but I am extremely happy to at least have found two. So that made my day that I found a wish list item. I picked this up because I have a craft for it. I'm going to make a Dementor and I am, I'm looking and trying to find the bits and pieces, but I thought this would be really good for a Dementor. If you know Harry Potter, you know what I'm talking about. My son and I watched movie three yesterday. So the Dementors came in. I know much more about them now. I found these and I had seen Shauna Ray vlogs do I think it was these ones that she had hauled but I remember her hauling just some doggy bows and I thought they were so darn cute so these are supposed to go on the collar they look like little bow ties I have two little girl dogs but maybe I can use them in their ear or just in some of their hair because they're shih tzu so they get long hair or I can gift them someone with a little boy dog or I mean they can go on their collars too as little little you know holiday wear maybe for like family pictures and if we do the print oh I don't know but I just thought they were really cute so I picked them up and then if you saw my last video I did a little shout out to Sally because I think she's a huge supporter for all of us and she had emailed me and one of her wish list items were the gnome sets and I found it and I didn't plan to find it I hadn't seen it prior to looking for it I didn't see this set I saw like some of the Halloween ones and I happen to find them. So these are gonna go out to Sally. So I got her the towel, the set of two pot holders, and then the one. And so, yeah, that's for Sally, for her just being a big thank you, kind of like a little mini giveaway to a someone who I just see supports all of our channels. And how do you not like give support back to the people who are supporting us? So that's for her. My last bag from Dollar Tree. I have another Fred mail I'm giving and so I picked up these stickers to put in hers because I can't just do one item I wanted to do more and she loves cupcakes so I picked up those stickers I grabbed some rubber bands because my son the other day was asking for rubber bands and so I found them and got them for him I grabbed these two tall pillar candles for his Harry Potter party um, the store actually didn't have the crystal candle holders that we always see but I just got the two of these because I'm going to put them in the bathroom along with Moaning Myrtle and some like writing on the wall, something about opening the door, something or other. I don't remember the saying, but I thought that that would make the bathroom look real fun for his birthday and be in theme for that. I picked up some mailers because I need to mail some stuff out. Hopefully this works for all the stuff I need to mail out the right sizes. If not, darn, I'll have to make another trip to the store and find more stuff. 
I don't have enough space for everything. And then lastly, what I found at Dollar Tree was these. They are doll house activity kits. So it says to be used with 11 and a half inch dolls. I think that's like Barbie size. And they're so cute. So they're double sided. So you get this one. So this is the office, I believe. Office space. And then on the other side is like an outdoor door with a little outdoor space. And I thought that was really cute. It says collect all scenes. There's four and I did pick them all up. This one is the bedroom, so you got the bedroom space, and then it looks like you get a little garden with a trellis and some flowers on that. It comes with sticker sheets so that you can add to the little scenes. This one looks like it's the kitchen, and then you get out here where there's a little play space for the kids. And then lastly, this one is like the living room, and then you get the outdoor space with the grill. And I thought these were so cute. I don't know if they're for any of my kids, for my daughter, for a gift to somebody, or if I'm going to donate them, but I just thought they were too cute not to pick up. So what a fun way to like play imaginary with like your stuff. So cute. So, so cute. And then let me show you real fast what I picked up at Michael's. So Michael's, I just looked in their spring clearance and I picked up these leaves. I'm having a hard time in Dollar Tree finding green leaves. They're all like in fall color and I need to make a mandrake another Harry Potter thing and I thought these leaves seem perfect I do have one set of green ones I don't know if I popped those but I found one set of green ones from Dollar Tree and I can't find more and so I wanted to do one that's an actual mandrake and then two probably next to it that are just plants and not like you know with the like weird face and stuff if you know Harry Potter but so I picked that up at Michael's to be a mandrake and then right there with the spring stuff there were these little teeny guys. So these are going to be like litty bitty little baby mandrakes next to it. I thought they were too cute. They're really wobbly. So I need to put in some hot glue in there to hold them in. But I thought these were adorable. So these were normally $1.99. And their spring stuff was I think 75% off. Like huge sale. 70 or 75 And so those turned out to be $0.60 cents each. Regularly $1.99. This one was regularly... I don't know. She did the math. Because it didn't have a sticker on it, so she said she thought it was normally like um, $7.99 for stuff like this. I got it for $2, so not even any more like normally than I would get the Dollar Tree or not much more. It's a missing one right here, but that's livable. Um, so $2 for this. And then my big, big find from Michaels that was super exciting. I don't even know if I could show it all. Is this huge? Oh, perfect. Sign. says, always welcome here. And I'm going to hang it somewhere in my front room which is this room here but it's the perfect colors it's the gray and white that we have and we're doing touches of wood i just thought it was beautiful this is normally at 44.99 and huge like huge it doesn't tell me like the dimensions on here and i didn't measure it but it's huge and i got it for 13.50 oh my gosh so if you have a michaels and you want to go check out their spring clearance you really should because i just could not believe that deal for that so that's what I found at Michael's I also stopped at Dollar General I keep trying to find pumpkin soup bowls I saw Pookie's view show them I want it so bad this one had some fall stuff but still not that but of course I found other things there just two if you saw my last Dollar General haul I picked up the long skinny ones of these these ones weren't on clearance at their store which I think is interesting so I paid the three dollars but I don't think that's a bad deal because there's three of them in here and so they're a little bit bigger and then they're going to hold different like size stuff. So I grabbed that and I told you I redid our upstairs bathroom where the kids use and I want to redecorate it as well. So I got this wash, brush, floss and rinse. This was $5 and regular price for five, which I feel like is totally worth it. It's, you know, big. This also doesn't give you the dimensions, but it's like a great size. It's heavy duty and it's in the colors that are going to match that bathroom. I stopped at a Five Below. Five Below is right next to Michael's. And I'm looking for some shoes there that I've seen other people like show and haul, but I can't find them. But I grabbed this. I think maybe it'll help me when I start um, recording crafting, like a, just a nice phone holder for that. Because I don't know exactly the best way to have my phone when I craft and do that kind of stuff. And then lastly, I went to Target. And I found one of my Target wish list items that I had been watching for. I saw on some of my Instagram, like the people who do Instagram stuff. And it was these. I love them. I, it's real glass. So you like, 
kind of fragile ceramic and glass vessel is what it says and it says it's orange I do plan to probably spray paint these white because then I can use them year round. I don't want them only for Halloween or anything and orange isn't my color, but I'll spray paint them. They're definitely ceramic at the bottom. I think they're so beautiful. Like these make me so happy. They were $3 each. Like I said, I'll be spray painting them the color that will match. And then I wasn't necessarily looking for these, but I thought that these would be really good for my apothecary and potions and stuff. For the party they're puzzles in there actually it's a 26 piece puzzle it is in the speaker and that's what I wanted for is the beaker and it was a dollar and I thought for the beaker that that's a good deal and so they're both the skeleton puzzle which is also cute I'll let the kids do that but I wanted the beaker and I got two of those and that is it that's what I picked up at all these stores but mostly I wanted to show you my Dollar Tree items Thank you so, so much for being here. I always forget to mention, I do have an Instagram account. It is Amber's to-do list. If you wanted to go over to Instagram, I try when I remember to take pictures of the stuff I haul and I usually try to show it the day after that I do my hauls. And then that way you can get a closer look to the things that I pick up. Um, and I do little other tidbits. I get it a sneak peek into my daughter's birthday party. I do plan to do a vlog of that. I have it all recorded. I just need to edit it. I also finally gave my gift baskets to my sister-in-law and I did a little um, putting together of the three gift baskets that I made. And again, I just need to edit that to get it posted. But I like to do little sneak peeks or photos of things so you can get a better look. And that's over on my Instagram page at Amber's to-do list. And if you haven't subscribed already, please, please do. I'm working on getting to that 500 mark so that I can do another giveaway. And I'll be at my halfway point to that thousand goal that we always have to get a thousand subscribers. And that might be it. So yeah, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below. I love having all those conversations with you. I really do strive to reply back and I think I do a good job of that. And that's what I got. So thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye.